Hey guys, Jeroen Waning here with another example video of how to use Profit Builder. And in this uh, tutorial, we're going to be covering how to create a squeeze page. Now, if you're not familiar with what Profit Builder is, or uh, you want to learn how to set it up, just go to boxedwebsite.com where I've got the initial introduction video that teaches you how to set up the uh, plugin, how to install it, activate it, set up the theme, which is optional, by the way. And uh, you can get more tutorials there as well. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, load a page template. So we click load page and then load template. And I'm going to use this basic uh, centered squeeze page, evolve, load, and then it will load it here. But uh, it's got a white background. So I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, image for a background. So you can add backgrounds for each specific row and then do the parallax scrolling and everything, which I cover in another example. Just go to boxwebsite.com and uh, watch that uh, tutorial on the home page but in this case I want to have a background for uh, behind the entire thing behind the entire squeeze page because it helps to capture you know attention and it puts the focus uh, on that uh, squeeze page the opt-in box so um, I'll go back to my WordPress uh, page editor and then uh, down here I will go uh, instead of none for background I'll select image and then select image and then I'll just go to my media library. I already uploaded it, so it's the same way that you upload images to WordPress. And then I'll go to show, and then insert into post. And then I'm gonna go ahead and update, because I've already published this post. Now you have to uh, publish your, uh, I'm sorry, this page. You have to publish your pages in order for them to uh, update in your Profit Builder uh, editor interface. But that's all covered in my previous tutorials. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, refresh this to go ahead and um, get that background image in there <clears throat> while I'm editing it, while I'm editing that page. And there you have it. So it, uh, you know, you can do that with any image, a solid background. You can do a video, you can do HTML5 videos, whether you embed them or whether you upload them, you know, the MPEG4 file yourself. Okay, and now uh, in order to, this is probably one of the most important parts of the Profit Builder uh, components where you can put in your uh, autoresponder code. You know, if you're using an email marketing service like Aweber, Constant Contact, iContact, MailChimp, IMSC, Rapid Mailer, you know, any of the major ones, all you got to do is paste, uh, paste in your form code. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit this section here. And then right here, it asks for your form code. So I use Aweber, unfortunately. But, um, then, you know, you go ahead and just make any form. doesn't matter. Just make a basic form. And then instead of JavaScript, just do raw HTML. And then uncheck include beautiful form styles because it's going to use the uh, form template from Profit Builder. So we don't care what the Aweber form looks like. And then um, I just copy that over here. And um, it should, it's a... Uh, a um, two-step process so you have to click get instant access and then it shows the form code below where you can put in your uh, email address now since it, this is just an example I'm gonna leave all this stuff the same right here you know um, but if you wanted to edit this text you know you would just click here and um, change it here or you can open it in the WordPress editor and then you can change uh, you know the size the color the font but you can also do that from here you can change the font color uh, the hover color uh, use a custom font size line height you know centered uh, right justified left justified whatever you want and the font family there's a whole bunch of fonts that come with uh, well the profit builder it installs automatically installs another plugin for fonts and and some other uh, plugins that actually are are really cool but um, let's say we want this to kind of capture their attention. I'll just go ahead and go to animations and I'm just going to have that just uh, bounce in from the top. And um, so it'll give you a little preview there. And uh, let's just go ahead and see what this, let me save this, save page. And then I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like real time. There it is. Let me go ahead and refresh it. And then you should see this little free case that he reveals bounce in from the top. And there it was. And you know, maybe we want to draw their attention to this get instant access button. So we'll go ahead and edit this again. And then uh, that's where you paste the phone uh, form code. But I'm going to go ahead and go to animations. And uh, this one, I want to go ahead and just um, maybe also slide in from the top. So everything comes down, like rains down from the top. 
All right, let me save that and then uh, preview that one more time and see what it looks like with both the animations there. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. I mean, you could have it come in from the left, from the right. You can have it fade in. You can have it um, bounce, you know, drop. Uh, you can, it, there's all, all these cool uh, different animations you can do. You can have it flip, roll, all this other stuff. But the um, last thing I'm going to do is just edit this copyright code instead of uh, the basic profit builder one, the default one. It's going to be uh, boxedwebsite.com. And I'm going to go ahead and link that to my home page. Because. Um, you know, I also want to actually, since uh, I want to get some SEO value out of this, I want to go ahead and silo this out. And let me just save this. And then um, let me see if I can put a little link right here just to, for them to go back home, you know, if they want to go to the home page. So let me just go ahead and add in a. Uh, something that doesn't really stand out too much. It's more just for the search engines. I'm just going to do text or HTML, and then I'm going to ha go ahead and just type, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and type in the link code real quick, which actually, let me just show you how to do it. Uh, if, you know, if you don't like coding HTML, you certainly don't have to. I'm just so used to it, but right here, you just go to the WordPress editor, highlight it, link, and then boxedwebsite.com, which is just the home page, and open it in the same tab, add link, save content, now we're going to save the page. Let's see. Yeah, let me actually center that a little bit better. Um, center. And I also want it to be, you know, vertically centered. Let me see if that'll do it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, save. And, uh, you know, it's small and probably barely legible once I refresh this, but I don't really care. I don't really want people to see it. I just want it to be there for the search engine so that I'm siloing out my site. Oh, yeah, I guess you can see it, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's essentially just how you ba build a uh, squeeze page with Profit Builder. I mean, when it comes to squeeze pages, you want to keep it really simple. You know, you just the whole goal is for people to just opt in. So, you know, you don't want to go crazy with uh, putting a whole bunch of different things in here that will draw people's attention away from the main goal, which is to get people to opt into your list. So in the other tutorials, I go more in depth about all the features of Profit Builder and all the different elements and components and dynamics. But for a squeeze page, you want to keep it real simple. So again, you know, my name is Jeroen Waning. And if you want to see more examples, you know, more in-depth tutorials on Profit Builder, just go to boxedwebsite.com. If you're on YouTube, just click on the link below. And uh, thank you for watching.